Hey guys, Sun here. Welcome back to another PUBG Xbox One video. Today's video, we are going over the PTS patch notes. It was supposed to release last week, but was delayed and should be available for you guys right now. You will need to download the public test server if you haven't done so already, but most of you probably will already have it. If it's helpful, a like is very much appreciated and we can get straight into it. The PTS will be available for all players with all maps, Miramar, Erangel and Sanok. Essentially, it's the same as the live servers. However, some game modes will be restricted and of course it's only going to be North American servers available in order to keep games populated and that could lead to extended matchmaking time, so keep that in mind before you play. But other than that, let's get into it. The first new added item is the Barrel M762, a new versatile assault rifle which spawns an Erangel, Miramar and Sanok. It uses 762 ammunition and can load up to 30 rounds, 40 with of course the extended mag, and the barrel has upper and lower wheels allowing for scopes and grips, and it has lower per bullet damage than the AKM, but does have a higher fire rate meaning higher DPS if you can control that kick. I'm excited to test it out actually and see how it compares to the AKM. Added a new assault rifle as well, the MK47 Mutant. It can be acquired on all maps the same as the barrel through world spawn, and it uses 7.62 ammo, has 20 round capacity which can be upgraded to 30 with the extended mag, and has two firing modes, single shot and two round burst. Almost all types of attachment can be equipped to the MK47, but it has no stock slot. So those are the two new weapons for you to test out in the PTS. Also added was a two seat vehicle, the scooter, which is exclusive to Sanok, and both the scooter and the two seater motorbike can be found on Sanok now. Compared to the current motorbike, the scooter has lower speed and an increased turning circle, but has the same health. Also added is another exclusive vehicle to Sanhok, the Tuck Shai, a three-person vehicle that substitutes the UAZ, Dacia and minibus. The Tuck Shai is slower compared to the previous vehicles, but fits perfectly with Sanhok's environment. Those are the only items added then in this update. We do have quite a lot of gameplay and other changes to discuss though. Starting with the restructuring of the BP system. Previously, they offered BP rewards based on our ranking, but now they've restructured the system to take into account both playtime and ranking. Rewards have been restructured to equalize the difference in BP efficiency based on playing time for each map and mode. How the new BP system will actually work in terms of how much BP you will get, we don't know. You will just need to play and see the difference on the BP you get in the PTS compared to the live servers, but I'm sure they're still tweaking it and more details will come from the live server patch notes when it finally releases. They've also made one small change as well. You will no longer be able to receive four times the BP because you were playing alone in a squad game, so that has been removed. What about some other gameplay changes then? Added the third person perspective aim camera position to options and this is a really nice change. Nothing more annoying than forgetting to switch back to your preferred side but now you can set it back automatically by changing settings in the menu. By default the camera will be set to reset to the right shoulder. The camera will always be positioned above the right shoulder. You can of course switch to the left shoulder but when you go back and aim again it will be over the right shoulder so you'll always have that option. You can switch it to always be over the left shoulder. It's the same but will be opposite of course. It just really depends on your playstyle. And you can also have latest peak shoulder option. The camera will position automatically to the direction you last leaned, which is what we had previously. And you can keep it on that if you don't want to change. Finally, you will have latest aim shoulder and this is the camera remains in the latest ads direction. In this setting, the camera position won't be changed by leaning while on ads or in scoping. So if you have an issue with leaning in game, you will now have a lot more control over it. Remember the default settings has changed so if you want to play the old way you'll need to go into the options and switch back. Otherwise you will have the default which is reset over the right shoulder. Next added is a new attachment, the laser sight. Bullet spread is reduced when hip firing and soft aiming. The laser sight fits on weapons with a lower rail slot attachment taking the place of the grip. So you can't have a laser sight and a grip at the same time. Added an improved marker ping system. Using the R button at the top, you can create a marker where you're aiming on the compass at the top of the screen. I have seen some of you say it's better to call out, but not everyone uses mics, especially in Europe, so this is a really good thing to help out your teammate. All team members can see the marker on the compass. After setting the marker, there is only a two second cooldown before you can mark again. The marker on the compass will automatically disappear after five seconds. And when the ping markers overlap, the closest location to you will be the one shown on top. Finally guys, increase the maximum sensitivity from 10 to 20. I know a lot of you have been waiting for that to be added to the game. Next we have some smaller changes. 
added a key guide to the loading screen tips. An image will also be applied to that as well soon. Improve the design of the map markers. This is based on player feedback and some players were confusing the previous marker design with the player icon. Reporting, you can now report a player for teaming, gameplay interference or verbal abuse. This can be done after the match is over. And performance, optimize the garbage collection system, faster rate of making the used memory to be reusable. Improve performance by adjusting on hit effects for various materials. Improve server and client performance by optimizing the inner composition of the plane and increase the quality of optimization to reduce desync. You guys will have to just test out the server to see if you have improved performance. Finally then, we have a huge amount of bug fixes. So I'm just gonna go over these as quick as I can. Fixed an issue where tooltips for the stun grenade did not accurately reflect its in-game effects. Characters were seen moving fast while prone when moving on slopes a certain way, where item mesh is sometimes difficult to distinguish from the floor on the police station in El Azahar in Miramar, where a dead player's loot box is sometimes buried in certain locations in Miramar, where characters can sometimes get stuck between the wall and a vehicle while leaving the passenger seat, where sometimes a situation in first person perspective players could see through walls, where sawed off shotguns were not listed in the attachable weapon list tooltip of the shotgun choke. Fixed an issue where sometimes players would not get transferred to the starting plane and instead start on the initial spawn location. Where under the certain conditions character models could appear stuck in the crouch position. Sometimes the fuel gauge of vehicles wasn't in sync with the visual display on the dashboard. In instances where players would teleport to an entirely different location while on Sandhawk. Where a character who is driving in a vehicle is created in an unspecified location where the shotgun of a person who is spectating is sometimes not rendered, causing problems where the gun goes into as mode. Fixed an issue where weapons are sometimes shown in locations different from where the character is holding them, where approaching a window with glass and throwing a throwable could sometimes cause the camera to temporarily zoom in and out, where approaching a corpse while lying down could sometimes cause the camera to zoom in, where sometimes a character standing at the very edge of the sea in Sandhawk would be shown as falling out of the sky where the blue zone user interface timer occasionally decreased by two seconds. When in an underwater character is unable to move to land because the terrain is shown as stuttering. Fix the issue where colliding with an object while driving in an UAZ deals comparatively more damage than other vehicles. Where the firing mode of a gun has been dropped and picked up again is reset to default settings where the vault action was not working properly with certain uh, building windows in Sandhawk, where an after image sometimes remains on other players' screens when repeatedly arming and unarming, fixed the issue where the assault rifle compensator on the SLR was not reducing the horizontal recoil, fixed the issue where a character cannot peek while over a gas can, where frame rate drops occurred when the weather was rainy and the character was swimming in the water, when the perspective changed from under to above water, where the HP gauge was displayed red in certain conditions, where grenade impact sounds were not played when interacting with certain surfaces on Sandhawk, where in some specific situations there was less weapon recoil than intended, fixed an issue where after exiting the game while armed, the character model would appear to shake, where picking up sound was output but has not been able to pick up items from a certain distance. Finally, fixed an issue where the exact direction of player's footsteps sound was hard to comprehend. So guys, as I said, lots of bug fixes. But that is it, just a recap of all the changes in this week's public test server, all of which will be added to the live servers soon enough, and again, we will go over the patch notes for that. Stay tuned for more PUBG Xbox videos, the next one will be out tomorrow maybe, if there's any PTS issues to go over. I will have also a blackout video tomorrow as the game does release then. If you're looking forward to it, check it out. Thanks for watching, have an awesome day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.